so Lori gave us River from her place um, so I can milk her which I'm super excited about both of her babies are gone now and she has plenty of milk <laughs> we brought a crate but it wasn't big enough so like true hillbillies or something <laughs> we have a goat in our back seat it's the old suburban so I don't know that she can do much damage uh, but she isn't she's just sitting there like like not really knowing what's going on anyway doesn't doesn't everybody carry a goat in their car a full-grown goat I mean she's a mini goat but she's full-grown we're on the back porch she is home I had to get where the other goats couldn't get to me she's eating a little snack and this is her first time on the stanchion. And here's her udders. Bless her heart. She is very full. So we're going to milk her out and see what we get. So this is what I got out of her. I got that. And then there's some in this jar that wouldn't fit in that jar. But that's just from today. And I want you to look at her udder. I don't know if you can tell, but there is still this one I didn't empty out. The other one I could did. She's like, okay, I've had enough. But um, she's not all the way empty. It's a little warm out here. But, uh, of course it's you know like 11 o'clock um we'll, we'll work on getting earlier i had to go get her this morning though but i am so thankful for this dough um as you know i lost shelly and and that's a hard loss in in milk production and emotionally um two years ago river's mom was attacked by a dog and i lost her and and that that was a hard loss river reminds me a lot of her mom and um and her milk production is looking a lot like her mom and so um so i'm super thankful for her thank you Lori. thank you thank you um she wanted to to downsize a little bit um and anyway i i am i am super appreciative so it's the next morning and i milked river out this morning and she gave us, let's see if I can show you, put this down. This is a half gallon jar. It is filled up to the very top. That's the half gallon. And then I have another quart in the house um, that I didn't bring out. But so she gave three quarters of a gallon this morning. So between last night and this morning, we have enough to make cheese. So um, I'm super impressed. Go river. Go ahead and clean her off. Good girl. You can do it from like over here. So maybe right can see her. Get her cleaned off. It's just a little bit of mild detergent and water. And go ahead and squeeze out a little bit of milk. So milking has been going pretty good. I have an easy milker. She's the only one I'm milking. Um, and I have carpal tunnel. So while I can milk out a goat, it, it's a slow process. This lets my hand rest just a minute in between and keeps it pulsing. But she'll get, I'll get one of these full off of each side. She's doing so good. Are you eating your food? You're such a good girl. You are a good girl. She comes right up now and jumps on the milk stand. We did have to carry her up onto the milk stand twice, but only twice. Is that good? Ribs. Is that good, River? Is that good? You're such a good girl. Yeah. <laughs> she likes the pets and scratches she gets up here, too. Yep. And we're on to the other side. You can see the difference. Isn't that crazy? This morning I just got this amount. It has been filling it all the way up to the top. But it is hot and I do not blame her one bit. Um, it gets When it gets this hot, she doesn't even want to finish her feed. And it's, it's just because it's, it's too hot. But, um, but she's still being really good. Well, Dory, it's not about you. This is my non-fertile goat that really needs to be 
have a home to be a pet. I'm just afraid somebody's going to take her to the barn and they're going to eat her or something. She's a good girl. And she's so pretty. But it's not about you, Dory. You're a good girl. Yes, you are. You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. So, River, out of her first week being here, which her milk production is probably going to be the highest at that point. Um, but her first year here, she provided the milk so that we got, um, let's see, I used, we got a batch of ice cream, a batch of mozzarella cheese, and two batches of um, farmer cheese. So, thank you, River. And, I don't know, that was, I just thought that was pretty awesome. Look at this little goat. She, you're a pretty little girl. Yeah. You are. Yeah, you are. <laughs> it's just chewing her cud. And come here. Yeah. Yeah, you afraid I'm going to kick you out? Because you're in the dog yard instead of the goat yard where you're supposed to be, hmm? Yeah. She's so sweet. And she's so pretty. I love that caramel coloring. Her, like, chocolate chip spots. <laughs> she says, hey, come back. <laughs>